waking up consciousness every action has an equal and opposite reaction everything you do creates a consequence when it's positive we call it results when it's negative we call it consequences Every choice you do or do not make, every moment of every day, has a cumulative impact. It can be intimidating to consider this basic fact of existence. The responsibility can feel monumental, like you're carrying the world on your shoulders. When you think about how much there is to think about and to manage. Your internal and external states. How you treat other people. Your own perceptions, beliefs, morals, values how you manage your stress, how you sleep at night, how you feed yourself, how much you do or do not exercise and move in a day, caring for your family, finding a purpose, finding meaning, serving something larger than yourself, your legacy, how you present yourself to other people, how you present yourself to yourself, how you feel about yourself when you're by yourself. Self-care, health care, finances, spirituality, productivity, existential turmoil, mm -hmm. being a good friend, being a good partner, Verbalizing your own needs, figuring out what those are. From the minute you wake up in the morning until you shut your eyes at night, choosing to shut your eyes at an appropriate time at night and get a good night's sleep, whether you stay up late watching Netflix with bright lights on or picking up your phone and scrolling between the hours of 2 and 4 a.m., which interrupts your sleep cycle, or you choose to go to bed at a reasonable hour without light and technology interfering with your sleep, whether you make sleep a priority, whether you make yourself a priority, whether you decide to be selfish or selfless. Keeping up your external body, hygiene, self-care, etc. Keeping up your internal body, health care, physical fitness, the food we eat, being considerate of others. How you spend your time, how you spend your energy, what you do in a day what you learn, maintaining brain function into old age, um, solving global problems, <laughs> caring about global problems, caring about others, and what you do, right or wrong, good or bad, indifferent, inaction, action, indecision, decision, is intimidating because there's just so much, so many possibilities, so many options. You can get lost and confused <laughs> many, many, many times along the way. but it's better than living blindly. Life is difficult 
and stressful, whichever way you choose to approach it. Like a automaton zombie, just reacting to life as it comes at you, waking up in the morning, going about your normal routine, your bathroom, cup of coffee, breakfast for donut, donut for breakfast, <laughs> still clearly early. Um, other bad habits, um, not following through, um, not being there for others in the way that you expect them to be there for you, um, not taking care of your health, um, not just, just allowing, just allowing life like a leaf in a river or a piece of driftwood. There is some peace to be had with acceptance and letting go. You can't control the universe. You have to allow certain things. But you make a decision what to allow, what to move through by simply existing and, and allowing emotions to pass through you, thoughts to pass through you, um, difficult states to pass through you without reacting in a negative way. Um, you choose to let go of certain people that are toxic too much responsibilities to simplify your life to a manageable level. You choose to say no to certain things because every time you say no to something, you're saying yes to something else. Everything we do all day long, every second, has a consequence. And even more mystifying is we, we don't know the consequences always until later. <laughs> but you need to learn to trust yourself. You need to learn to, to learn yourself. Investigate yourself. And try to trust yourself to make decisions consciously in your life some point in adulthood we have this moment that harkens way back to when we were three <laughs> and we recognized our reflection in the mirror and realized that that person waving back at us and making silly faces was actually us we recognized our autonomy and that we could move our body and choose to do a thing and there would be a response. We could knock our sippy cup over and it would make a fun noise and maybe splash back and make a big mess, which was fun. And then our, our parents would come over with whatever temperament they had and react that we could move objects. We could make choices to, to do a thing and it would create a reaction in the world and in others around us. We became consciousness of our capacity to make choices, decisions, actions, behaviors, beliefs, all of that, the dawning of awareness. And then somewhere along the way, we start to lose that. We get bogged down by the tremendous uh, responsibility and to-dos and litany of, of obligations and things to keep track of, of being an adult, that we get into a safe and comfortable routine and we revert back to autopilot and our neurology prefers homeostasis, even if homeostasis is bad, negative, and detrimental to our, 
our health, our relationships, our finances, our overall well-being. Uh, it is familiar, and our body uh, likes to be in a familiar state. It does not like discomfort, hot weather, cold weather, exercise. Um, it resists discomfort. Um, our mentality resists discomfort of change uh, because we are also predictive animals uh, psychologically, neurologically. Um, we anticipate uh, what's coming next. If we walk across the road and it's filled with cars, we can anticipate based on the lessons we've been taught when we were small, what we've heard and what we've seen in the news and stories we've heard that if you walk across a busy road, um, you would get hit and it would be bad. And so we don't do that. Um, we know changing habits and familiar routines, especially if, it, if it's working, um, rarely ever, because there is so much to juggle in life, is, is it ever all working? Um, at the same time, there's too many moving parts to life. There's always something that we can improve on or focus on that, that we let slip because there's just, there's so much to keep track of. If we're doing really well at our jobs and our relationship, um, maybe our self care and our health care is, is slipping. Uh, if we're really focused on our self care and our health care, um, maybe we're not performing well at our job or attending to our relationships, if we're focused on our social life and our, our health care uh, and our family life, maybe we're not doing so well at our job. Uh, these are just a few things, you're just, there's just so much to take care of that it's kind of a constant maneuvering of pieces. Um, and if you have a system <laughs> that you've fallen into and and you, you've covered the basics, uh, it's really hard to settle into the discomfort of modifying those basics. And as we get older, the more difficult it is to adjust the, the routines and habits that we, we have settled into. Uh, our neuroplasticity does exist throughout life, but it becomes more and more difficult the older that we become. Um, our prefrontal cortex finishes developing, uh, begins around teen years, and then finishes developing in our mid-20s. Um, and by 30s and 40s and 50s, the grooves and connections in our brain are very deep troughs and it is very difficult and uncomfortable to, to, to change them. But if there are things that are lacking or disturbed or disruptive or not working for you, um, you have to force yourself into a position of discomfort to face those things that are not working. And just expect that it will feel uncomfortable and everything in you will say retreat. and slip back into the previous habit because it developing new neural networks <laughs> and resisting our own physiologic innate nature is going to elicit discomfort um, it's going to be uncomfortable before it gets comfortable good positive changes are going to feel negative psychologically, emotionally, physically, until they don't. So don't get scared away by new choices that you know in your heart and in your head and in your soul are, are, are for the better uh, because of the, that fear response and that physiologic response and that discomfortable response. It's not a word, a discomfort response. <laughs> it's, we are hardwired to feel that way. Um, it harkens back to our earliest times. But you need to wake back up. 
it's it's really easy to fall back asleep. And this is your reminder wake up call. You are not a piece of driftwood. You are not a leaf in a river. You are a ship. You choose the direction of your life. And every moment matters. You may not notice it in the moment because you're too close to the forest to see the trees. But eventually, you can look retrospectively and see what your choices have gotten you. So try to remain awake and aware and conscious of how you're spending your time and your energy, your investments. And prioritize what's truly important for you in your life because we only got one and it slips by very, 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 very fast. Um, Take full ownership and responsibility for your choices and your consequences. regardless whether they turn out negative or positive. Don't make it so big that you become overwhelmed. It's really a basic concept. And you can take it one bite-sized little piece at a time. Identify one thing in your life that is not working effectively and work on that one thing. I'm gonna eat a little bit better. I'm gonna try and get a full night's sleep on a regular basis. I'm going to call my friends and family more often. I'm not going to make promises I can't keep. One small step at a time and a general all day awareness of what you are or are not doing and the possible implications it may have because it will change you. It will change the way you approach your life. It will change the choices that you make It will change the way you behave. It will change the way you cherish and appreciate others. When you realize that um, you're driving the boat, when you take ownership and responsibility for your action, inaction, your reaction, when you take ownership for yourself and responsibility for yourself, and realize that what you do has a consequence, positive or, or negative, all day long. Every little thing adds up. Skip brushing your teeth a day or two, it doesn't matter. Skip brushing your teeth for a few weeks or on a regular basis. Your teeth will rot and fall out. It can affect your cardiac health and can contribute to Alzheimer's because the bacteria can leach into your vascular system, into your brain. Little things, little simple things add up. So just do that next right thing as best you can. And when you do wrong, own up to it too. Even if you're not in a place where you can change it at this juncture, you can't bring yourself to make that change. Own up to it, to yourself. I'm just not ready. I'm just not ready for that. And pick something different that you are ready for. 
and work in that instead. Change itself and the empowerment you feel by making conscious choices for your own and others' betterment will give you motivation and fuel to tackle those bigger, harder things because you'll begin to feel more empowered in control in your own life and taking responsibility for your failures and your misgivings that's really important too you need to be able to forgive yourself you need to be able to ask others for forgiveness you need to be able to accept that you are not perfect and perfect is an illusion you need to learn to be less hard on yourself it's really long and I will link it to um, the mindfulness playlist and um, bipolar why I live consciously and um, waking up why I acquire consciousness and I, I need to wrap this up. I'm 21 minutes in, and I haven't read the quote. Um, it's highly important. You are not inanimate. You are driving your own life every moment of every day and when you recognize that you approach things differently we must take responsibility for everything we say and do when you get your head wrapped around that you can no longer think of life as a series of random events you participate in and with life in a way you did not realize. We must, M-U-S-D, must take responsibility for everything we say and we do. Even those things that we do not do. We chose not to do when you get your head wrapped around that you can no longer think of life as a series of random events you participate in and with life in a way you did not previously before you realize you are a conscious actor good morning goodbye Sorry, this was so long, so long.